Connor here today at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to be going over and showing you how to install the Roadmaster Falcon 2 tow bar here on our 2020 Jeep Wrangler. So we can see here we have a nice shiny black powder coated finish which is really going to help it blend in with both the, the uh, motorhome and the towed vehicle as well as provide us with some protection from rust and corrosion. So the Falcon 2 tow bar is an excellent option for any vehicle, definitely this Jeep here in particular. If we take a look at the arms here, particularly the inner portion of the arms, the silver rod, you're going to see we're a little bit offset on each side. We're going to have much more of our arm showing over here than we do on this side. And basically what this is going to come down to is when we pull forward, because this tow bar has a self-centering design, both of these arms are going to evenly extend outward and lock into place. This is going to give us a little bit more freedom when we're hooking up our Jeep to our motorhome here. We don't need to be exactly parallel to the motorhome in order to be able to effectively hook up both of our arms and then take off down the road. So after messing with a few different tow bars, I have to say that the Falcon 2 has a little unique design that most other tow bars don't, and that's going to be the length of our arms here. The length of the arms is going to be much longer on this particular tow bar than some of the other ones you might be seeing. And this is going to allow us for better maneuverability as well as increased turning clearance if we need to make some sharper turns. So we talked about the self-centering mechanism here of our tow bar arms. So after we've hit the road, we pulled into our campsite, our arms are both going to be locked out. In order to release the arms from the base plate tabs, we cannot do so while the arms are locked out and there's tension applied. We need to go ahead and remove this tension. And basically how we're going to do that is it's pretty easy. While the arms are locked out, this little pin here is going to be held upward. And all we need to do to release the tension in the arms is go ahead and press that down. That'll release the tension and then we can go ahead and pull our pins out and take our tow bar off. Now I will say that it doesn't have a non-binding design. So when we do release the tension from our arms, we need to make sure that we're fairly level and on an even surface. So I'm sure you noticed that when we made our connection to the tow bar here, that the lugs on the end of your tow bar look a little bit different than what we have installed here. And that's because we actually have an adapter installed that allows us to use this Roadmaster tow bar with a Blue Ox base plate kit. Now we do sell this adapter here at eTrailer, so if you want to use a Blue Ox base plate kit, or you already have one, we'll be able to easily adjust to this tow bar here. There's also going to be some other adapters to use Demco base plates or the eTrailer banded base plates kits. That's going to be another reason why I really like this Roadmaster tow bar, is that there's going to be tons of adapters that allow us to use pretty much any base plate kit we want. So our Falcon 2 tow bar here is going to be an excellent option for the Jeep Wrangler in particular, because it has a 6,000 pound capacity. Now our little two-door Wrangler there should never get anywhere near to that, so we're going to have plenty of extra room for air, making this a perfect option. So the first step of our installation here, we want to get our tow bar, take it out of the box, get it laid out in front of us here. Then we're going to go ahead and pull our towed vehicle up behind our motor home. About this distance here should be perfect. We do want to get as straight as possible. Then we can go ahead and set everything up. We'll have the hitch pin set aside to secure the tow bar to the motorhome. And then on the other side, we'll have our two pins here, which secure it to our base plate. So now let's go ahead and pick it up. We want to grab both the shank for our tow bar and the arms. We'll go ahead and insert the shank into the receiver tube on our motorhome. We want to be careful not to let the arms fall. We'll come around to the side here. And we'll try to line up our hitch pinhole here. So now once we have everything aligned, go ahead and take our hitch pin here. And secure it with our clip. So now once we have the tow bar connected to our motorhome, last thing we're going to do here, we'll take the arms, spread them apart the correct distance, we can go ahead and make the connection to the base plate kit here on our vehicle. We'll take our pin here, make sure the bit end is facing outward, and we'll go ahead and line everything up and insert it into place, securing it with our clip. We'll go ahead and do that on the other side now. 
Now we're gonna show you what to do when we wanna unattach our vehicle here and store the tow bar on the motorhome in the stowed position, which is another unique feature here of the Falcon 2 tow bar. We'll go ahead and show you that now. We'll first remove the clips and the pins on our arms. We'll do this on both sides. We want to make sure we have a good grip on the arms so they don't fall to the floor. Then we're going to bring our arms together and we're going to bring them up towards the motorhome. If you can see here, we have this little head on our bolt here. We're also going to have a little tab that that's going to line up with. So all we need to do is we're ready to stow the tow bar. It's just press that forward and align that with the cutout there and our tab. We may need to move it slightly in order to get everything to line up and then we can hear it lock into place. Now what we can do is go ahead and rotate it to either side. And there we have it. So in summary, the Falcon 2 tow bar is going to be an excellent option for our Wrangler here. Especially if you're looking for one with sort of a no frills added, a bare bones basic tow bar, it's definitely going to get the job done and it still has some of the other features of some of the higher end tow bars, but without the added cost. And that's going to do it today for our look and installation of the Roadmaster Falcon 2 tow bar here for our 2020 Jeep Wrangler.